Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with episode 13 of Stone Block. And let's see. Oh yeah. Well the charcoal can stay put. I'm gonna grab the rest of the stuff out of here. So we're gonna be working on getting some power up and going this episode. And I did do a little bit of stuff off camera. I just put that off speed pick away. Oh well, I don't really need it. But I can finally make dark batter. Finally got enough diamonds to make a diamond block. So that's awesome. I got a quest complete, which is always wonderful. And I got another star crux. Now uh, I'm wondering. Uh, yeah, that's two of those and two awakened. All right, yeah, that works. So what can I do with a single dark matter? Um. Let's see. Can make a shovel. Let's see. Black hole band. Eh. I can make dark matter shears. Uh, let's see. Archangel smite. Takes two. Ignition ring takes two. And some Mobius fuel, which is not a problem, really. Uh, let's see. What is that? Hyperconnect lens takes two. That would be a recipe for zest right now. There's a hammer. I can make a block out of it. I need three for the Vulcanite Amulet. I need two. Yeah, Subsidian. Okay, so I need two for the Gem of Eternal Density. And a lot for a Catalytic Lens. Wow. And let's see. What was the thing I usually make? Swift Wolf's Rending Gale. Takes four. I kind of scroll past it. Whoops. So yeah, uh, Single Dark Matter is not that useful. But yeah, it's a start, right? So this thing actually filled up full of creosote and I completely forgot about it, so steel production kind of lagged a bit. Whoops. And I've got just a hair under what I need. Ah, here we go. I made a reservoir so I can just grab everything in there. Here we go, and pink slime. So yeah, this thing's it's working great. I did take accelerate it once and built up a bit of a backlog of eggs. And we are actually doing pretty good. I got four more diamonds already. I just emptied it just a couple of minutes ago. And I emptied this a couple of minutes ago too. So we're actually bringing in a decent amount of resources, which is rather nice. But let's see. A chemical chest would be a thing, wouldn't it? That takes, well, two plus what, five? Yeah, so seven, seven diamonds. Oh, wait a second. That's right. Covalence Dust has a special recipe in this pack, so. But alchemical chests are, you know, rather nice to have. And I still have not done anything with these last two sieves. Which, I mean, I could, I guess. Um, how am I sitting on sponges? Yeah, let's just grab, like, 14 and get those. Then we'll do, like, half stack of dirt, too, I think. So, let's go ahead and down here, make sure that the piping works. Well, it's extracting. And, yeah, definitely going into there, which is just the buffer anyway. All right, awesome. And I still have Creative Flight from a while ago. I don't know how long it's going to last, but it's uh, still a thing. So let's come over here. Let's see how this is doing. All right, cool. So I've got some prismarine now. i got some salt, which is meh, whatever, honestly. Lily pads, which are kind of nice. Getting stuff from grass as well. And yeah, you're not doing anything because I didn't give you netherrack or end stone. So. Oop. And we're going to come on down here, I guess, so I can access my system. Uh, yeah, I'm low on netherrack. But end stone I could do. So we're going to drop that in here. And kind of keep an eye on this here, make sure that that's working. And let's see. Starting to wonder if it's not. 
Although, I do have item ducks running up, and they are a little on the slow side, but ended up supposed to go, or going where it's supposed to. And it just takes, because these are not impulse, so the items kind of flow a little slowly through there. Oh well. And I did hook up a lava generator back here. Got Crucible, Eulorium, just a regular tier 1 cobblestone generator, feeding into the magmatic with 4 speed upgrades. Because I was getting tired of waiting for diamonds. Yeah, as you do. And honestly, though, I could have hooked this up. I've got this item line running down to here anyway. I could have run it all the way down to here. I would have had to change some colors, though, I think. But, you know, not a huge issue. I mean, it would have been easy enough to take care of, but... And, yeah, the thing... The furnace generator doesn't really run all that much, but... We are now actually powering everything at a full 200 or 20. So everything's running at full speed for its current uh, current tech level. So, uh, let's see. Wrong button. I want that one. There we go. Gadger. Gadget. Um, yes, I would like a destruction gadget, finally. Thank you. Oh, yes, that's right. I have my, my battery on. And it charges everything in my inventory. So we go charge it in that little thing I've got over there, and I'm like, ah, it's gonna take a while. All right, Enderbutt, where are you? Play. Hmm. There you are. Thank you. And, yeah. Everything's working like it should. Awesome. Hmm. I need to start carrying around something that can do magic damage, honestly. Uh, let's see. Cyclic's got a few things, right? And let's see, target dummy spawner, no. Uh, this should, though, the rainbow cannon. Uh, yeah, I need, I need dark prismarine. All right, easy enough. I need some fire charges. And just need a couple diamonds now, which I do have, so. I just forgot to grab them when I checked the crate earlier. And there we go. And now that I have the Philosopher's Stone, I could actually convert emeralds to diamonds. I'm just trying not to, I guess. Speaking of which, that can actually go away. There we go. And yeah, I don't need the reservoir on my hotbar. Yes, it's uh, it's very eye searing, especially with shaders on, but it works, or it should work. I have no mobs over there. Okay, let's go check our Batania area, which I need to kind of get into. Hey, not that. This. Well, that was nice. I mean, that one dropped a legendary loot bag. That's pretty, pretty okay, honestly. Oh, there's a log chicken up there. Hey, we got a cow, we got a regular sheep, and we got an energetic sheep. So how much damage did that do to you? Like a heart and a half. Oh, hey, look. Oh, it doesn't work. Okay. Damn, that's what I was trying to hope, kind of hoping for there. No wireless transmitter in range, yeah. All right, well, let's go ahead and hop on up here. And let's try to find something that will work then. Uh, let's see what we got here. We have the cave finder. Hmm. Engraved thunder. Needs crystallized amber, though, which I'm not set up to do. The matic, which is nice. 3x3 three three mining. Works on dirt and 
from Chaos Root. No, not that one. Uh, but yeah, works to Iron Stone. So, uh, Fire Extinguisher or the Fire Slayer. Uh, the Evoker Fang might work, but it's got some uh, splash issues, I think. Frostbringer, Antimatter Evaporator, Slingshot, Fires Pebbles. There was something that fired a like a homing shot though, wasn't there? Sidian Shears, Piston Scepter, nope, nope. Water Froster. Hmm. Yeah, I could have sworn there was something that fired a homing projectiles. I know Batania's got a thing too, but Hmm. Hey, carbon paper. Used to copy a sign or note block. Water spreader replaces nearby flowing water with source water. That could actually be handy too if I ever decide I want to build like a giant swimming pool or something. Which I might do. Let's see, there's that. No. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the Evoker Pang would do it, but I'd. Pretty sure I'd end up killing a lot of things around whatever I'm aimed at. So I'd rather not use it. Um, one thing I do want, though, that I just thought about. But I was in the perfect screen anyway. Uh, lofty Stature. Apple of Lofty Stature. So I need orange and cyan, right? And grass, it looks like. So... And you have some shears. Very good. And need some bone meal, it looks like. I don't have any beets, do I? I do. Okay. Oh. Cool. I've got dandelions, so. Oop. Like that and that. Um, cactus, though. Yeah, no. I've got cactus seeds. I uh, should have them there in the ceiling. Uh, for now, that we're going to also gonna do that. Done. I've got some of this, so I can just do boom. And I put some posts in this room too because I felt like I needed a little bit of something. But these are from Engineers Decor. Which, if you add that into the pack, you end up with uh, quite a few things that'll you know help use up treated wood and creosote and all that. And no, it'd be over here then maybe. All right, um, cactus seeds from X Nihilo. Oh, is yeah, that's right. String mesh, pretty much. Means I should have some, I, I would think, right? Like I didn't. Uh, wait a second. No, that's. I didn't empty that out. Also, I made myself a good axe, so. And nothing in here either. Hmm. Well, oh, I've got green dye though. Okay, I'm good. Never mind. I've got the industrial green dye. I should be able to use that to make cyan yeah like that there we go that's all I needed let's get that stuff put away I don't need the ender pearl either so I should be able to do this now and let's see you can get that and that put away same with that I guess don't need the cyan and this thing gives you step assist Basically, it makes you uh, walk like a horse, kind of. So, I mean, it, it helps. Also, I sh should really just make a potion. Um, I need a blaze powder. Need some bottles. I still have water here.
Yeah, all for ectoplasm, which is something I've been working on. Ooh, draconium and mana pearl. Mm, not bad. Uh, let's see, wart, nether wart. Eh, I've only got a couple hundred of it. And I keep hitting that. Um, Oceans of Harming, though. Is a spider eye on poison. Okay, I should be able to actually work with that. Ocean of Poison, I need one of these, which is, hey, well, I mean, that works too. I completely forgot about the uh, puffer fish thing. And then I just, yeah, click with the bottle. Done. Because I really only need one for now. Uh, fermented spider eye should have uh, plenty of the stuff to make this. And gunpowder, please. And he turned it into a splash potion. So, there we go. Uh, yeah, no. I'm do this in the other brewing stand I have. You plus you. Thank you. And yeah, awkward potions. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's make some regen, I think. And we'll do like that. All right, so there you go. You can have that now. And we're just kind of waiting on this. I could take accelerated, but what is the point, really? All right, so we're going to go down one. That'll make it five blocks tall. Yeah, that'll work. Make it nine by nine. Uh, let's make it 11 by 11. There we go. So that'll carve out a 11 wide, 11 deep room because there's the one block in the middle. So you add five to each side. Three blocks up, one block down. So five blocks tall. Like is in. Oh, dang it. And guess what I forgot to do? Is it okay? I just hit escape and it's like, yeah, no. And actually, let's go down two. And up three. There we go. So it'll be six blocks, which, I mean, is a thing, but. There we go. Hey, I got mobs in here too. I wonder if I can get a spirit out of these. Hi, you're dead. Like that. Ah, I got him though, okay. Sweet. I really, I keep telling myself I should just put some torches in there and call it good. But honestly, there are times where it comes in handy, so. Like if I just need a tiny bit of, well, if I did need in the past a tiny bit of experience, but. All right, plant you down, do that, Spectre Sapling, and we're going to go Bonsai Pot. So, one of you, and you plus you. Let's go ahead and grab a Grass Block, and I just put a Crate away, which is, I've got plenty of them actually, so. Yeah, we'll just throw it on the ground. I'm actually going to get this thing set up over here. There we go. And now I should be slowly generating ectoplasm, which will be kind of nice. All right. So we're going to come on down here. Now, I wanted to make grassoline, right? I need bio crude, which I need basically pulped bio blend or which you may have pulped biomass anyway. Cactus in a sawmill gives you four. Which is not you can actually auto auto farm cactus. Like no power needed. Hey, four cigarros make it too. Sugarcane also makes it. So I could do a row of bonsais, but no. 
and eight wheat, and it'll give me some extra seeds, but do I really need the seeds? I don't know. Also, boop. That was close. <laughs> oh, yeah, um, and that, yeah, no, not gonna work, not gonna work, okay. And if I hit undo, we can do that. Uh, let's, let's go up by just two, maybe, right? There we go. So now I just have this whole, I don't, hmm. I don't think that that would work, because I'd have to leave that hole intact. Oh, crap. Dang it. Okay. Got one thing. Uh, five blocks. Okay. Four, five, six, like say seven, just to have a little bit of extra leeway. Oh, hell. Right. Um, undo that. Tell you what. Do like right here then. There we go. Any access? No. Need torches. But now, there we go. Uh, torch. And still spawnable in the middle? Yep. Okay. So, uh, let's see, can I have, actually, give me some treated wood for this, because that would actually, it would make sense, too, in the, at the same time. And then, dirt, because that treated wood's, wood treated for you, so, like, a telephone pulse and whatnot, railroad ties, keeps the wood from rotting, which, since this is going to be a garden, eh, it kind of makes sense, right? So 11 by 11 room with a one block walkway around it equals a nine by nine, which is quite frankly, perfect. And mm, no, not that, uh, I mean, it's a thing, but not, well, not the thing I want. Here we go. Growth crystal tier three. That is what, two, three, four, five. Now this would work even better if I had access to say, AgriCraft in this pack. Actually, it's not in here, is it? No, okay. Not range either. Here? Yeah. Just right down the road a little bit. And that can go away. I should have my water reservoir here. Thank you. There you go. And then I need a hoe of some flavor, right? Uh, yeah, I got two stone hoes. Which really doesn't matter, because it's not like a diamond hoe does a better job, so. Sweet. All right. You're good to go. Hose gonna repair itself slowly. And so 
I need to look at farming, you know, alternatives, right? Well, there is forestry, which would do a decent job. We also have Steve's cards, which also it could do a decent job too. I, okay. Fertilized dirt. Yeah, I forgot fertilized dirt was a thing. I don't have enough. Um, hmm. Right. Spring Blockheads has some too. I don't have enough chicken manure yet to do that entire thing, so I'm not going to bother quite yet. Uh, let's see, we have Farmerly. Hmm. I had a lot of fun with Bees and Mendel's Bees, but. All right. So we have. Okay, the Peach Farmer doesn't count. Farmer from actually additions, farming station. Actually, the, the cyclic one is the one I want to use. Uh, plant gatherer or something. Right. Okay, you're the fluid collector, yeah. Also, gold mine carts. Could be interesting. I might do real something or another in here. Miner, block placer, controlled miner, automated user. That could work as well, but a harvester. That's what I want. So I can get rid of that. We're going to make one of these like that. I am missing dispenser. Yeah. And I tell you what, just make a few of those because I'm going to need them eventually. So, hey, okay, there we go. There's our harvester. And. Probably potatoes what I'm going to go with for now. Go ahead and use up some of those seeds, and I've got 58 potatoes, so. Mm, actually, no, no. Uh, let's change that up, because you can get poisoned potatoes out of those, and I don't, don't think they really have much use. I can use it to make poisoned buckets with, uh, heart containers, soul stone, inventory upgrade, inventory crafting table, Cyclic poison bucket. Uh, we can get evil craft poison out of them. But it's almost a question. Uh, I can make two of them into one tin can of food. Uh, let's see, I can macerate it into grin powder. We can use them in the vat, actually. Oh, maybe that's a good idea then. I just need a place to store them for now uh, to make hooch with. So let's go ahead and right here, we're just going to, for now, three blocks in. You, uh, let's see, your area. Oh yeah, you face towards me, don't you? Okay. okay. Oop, no, not that. Here, get that off my hotbar before I have a tra tragic accident. Nine by nine, preview, perfect. Turn that off. This is going to require some power. Not the end of the world, though. It doesn't require, like, all that much. And it doesn't plant things for you. Now, stuff in the middle is probably not going to grow, because it's going to... Yeah, see, it just popped out. It's too dark right there. And right there. So, I'm going to have to get some more lighting solutions in here, but... Hey, there we go. So let's go ahead and get this cut. I put my torches away, didn't I? No, I didn't. Okay, cool. Good, good, good. Tell you what, you, you can go right there. And yeah, that'll work, I think. I just need to run power back there. I'm going to have to like basically jumpstart the system too. So not much can really be done about that. But hopefully by the time it's done, it will be 100% self-sufficient. Should be enough potatoes though to, yeah, that is finish planting everything. Now, 
Now if I stand here, can I? No. Uh, light. At. Oh. Alright. Inverted. There we go. So just, uh, before those, give me one. Four of these. Make them inverted so they're always on no matter what, because otherwise they require a redstone signal, which is not necessarily the end of the world, but this just makes it easier. So, all right, so here is our center point. Say two blocks out, all the way around. And then right there, actually. I mean, I'm going to change the ceiling out to, into something else, but that cobblestone is going to bug me anyway, so there we go. And get those last two planted in. Awesome. So our potato farm is done. We've got a way to automatically collect things, which is great. And now I need to move closer. Okay. So give me... Me spelling, please. Thank you. Um, black hole unit, black hole tank. Uh, yeah, give me a couple of these guys, actually. And then conduit, sure. And then some of that. So, tell you what, you can be there. You didn't auto. F Did I not grab the other one? I must not have. Oh, no, I did. It's right there. I just, I'm blind. Okay. Okay. We're good. All right, you can go here now. We will auto extract. You can insert. And you can insert. Now you just need power. Now, honestly, actually, the best thing I could probably do is to keep the, the conduiting to a minimum, actually. Come over here. Oh, we're going to get wireless right now. So I want one of these. Well, I can get four per. But I also want one of these. Wireless RF battery. Now that I actually have good power, I can use these. And for something small like that, this will be perfect. As long as everything works like it's supposed to. I've had issues in like harvest block and getting these things to actually send power to blocks that can require or that use power. So, not the best. Works fine with extra utilities machines. I mean, no problems at all, but. One tile. Sweet. We're getting power. Awesome. Got potatoes, great. Harvest the area per go, would you? And you went into here, but not into here. So I am going to take this poison potato and put you in here. Lock inventory on both of these now. And it's getting more than enough power. I mean, this is still actually filling up, even with it trying to harvest the whole area once. So we're good. Otherwise, it only does one plant per cooldown cycle here, which is not going to work for what we want. Now, the next thing I need, though, is going to be a sawmill. Uh, sawmill, sawmill basic. There we go. I need a saw blade. And what all do I have? All of it. Sweet. I'm out of copper gears now. I can put that away now. And that, uh, I'll keep stone on me for now. So, you, my friend, you are potatoes. You have already got 400 in you. Um, you do this. Your input is going to be to the right. You're going to auto input. 
Oh, look, you're getting power as well. So, hey, there we go. 16 potatoes. 24 potatoes now, because it used 8 and pulled 16 in. And your output is going to be full left. All right, now this stuff here... Pulped BioBlend if I give it sawdust. I, I could hammer, like, logs manually, but... I don't really need to stretch this a whole lot right now. So we're just going to go straight to, not dirt, uh, fluid transposing. I need seed oil or plant oil. Plant oil I can get out of squeezers from these seeds here. I think we decided seed oil was the better. And one downside is I don't get seeds from potatoes. So that's going to be a thing, but I need a, uh, a transposer next. So we'll get into here. Fluid transposer, please. I'm going to need more copper gears, so we're just going to make a few. There we go. And now the seed oil also came out of a transposer, actually, so We'll get two of these. You, my friend. Um, that'll work, I guess, for now. Your input is going to be up top for the fluid. And to the right for the pulped biomass. Take this back another another block you know, and this wireless connection is having no problem well I'm not sure they all, eh, shouldn't have that many problems running honestly so now I just need something with a good source of seed oil um forestry seed oil now well I uh, no nah, I'll stick with this for now although squeezer hey still an option um all right so Beetroot, uh, pretty much anything from Pam's, though, would be excellent. Because you can auto-craft, you can put the seeds directly in, and then you can also auto-craft the seeds in. Hmm. Okay, well, you're, you're going to be output on the left here. All right, so this will be mode empty. Very good. So now I just need a way to get my hands on, like, some crops somehow, right? I don't know why I'm looking through that. I should be looking through here. So if phytogenic insulator is a thing, mm, I'd rather not do it. Uh, the cloche is a thing, and it actually would work perfectly for this. I don't know if I want to actually use that. Hmm. I could make another harvester. And item conduits. Uh, do I have my market? Yeah, I do. Okay. So, emerald. Okay. Keep doing that for some reason. Uh, let's see. I got a lot of emerald, actually. Doing great on emerald. Pretty much any of these will work. So... So would melon seeds, which I might actually have. Oh, no, melons. Are, yeah, let's go ahead and... We'll go with... I mean, here, me. Look up uses for blueberry seeds in a fluid transposer. That's phytogenic. Uh, fluid transposer. Seed oil, 50 millibuckets. Okay. 50, 50, 50. Or pretty much all 50. Yeah. Like, yeah, even like vanilla pumpkin seeds are 50. Okay. 
Uh, so we have blueberry it is. Now, uh, manure, right? How much do I have? Oh, 97 actually. I've got quite a bit. Takes eight per fertilized dirt though. So that's, I can make nine of these without a problem. So yeah, but I need a lot more manure to do the whole farm with it. But seeing as I've got growth accelerators under the other one, I might want to uh, do something to speed all this up. Right, and you are going to go there for now, my friend. Dang it. Of course not. Get my reservoir away, and I need a block of water. Don't know if it needs to stay hydrated or not, but honestly, I can just do that now. Let's do that. You are going to be here. You should be filling up with power now. You are. Awesome. And need my hoe back. Get that one out so that that can repair as well. I will grab some bone meal. And our blueberry seeds. There we go. And throw a torch up. Make sure it's got some light. You can go there. Turn you into seeds. Clicking the invisible hitbox for the, uh, the middle blueberry. And actually, I have worms, right? This uh, sign rapidly, or this episode rapidly devolved into uh, gardening with sign. So Here you go there. Oh, you can't put worms on this stuff. Okay, I should be actually just yeah, I can just plant that as is. Now you don't go through the food, the uh, the fluid, the fluid transposer, do you? Uh, I can run through a separator though to get blueberry juice and some fruit bait. I mean, that's a thing. I can squeeze it for eight mil buckets of fruit juice apiece. Which I can use to ferment stuff into biomass, which I might get into that in the future. Oh my. Oh yeah, no. You do a three by three and area. It's stealing potatoes. Uh 1400 and yeah, now we're We're doing good. Okay, you're back stuffed for now. You are getting there. Couple more things. One, I'm slightly disappointed that didn't work. Oh well, I will get over it. Uh, give me a crafter, would you? Uh, give me one of the mechanical ones. Like that. You know, honestly, you think I should just have some workbenches laying around? Because I, I like using these crafters. So there's that. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, it should be good then. You, my friend, can go there. And then we'll set you like so. You are going to be insert. It's under the conduit so I can jump up high enough. You will be extract always active. You are going to make that. You're gonna run into here, you're gonna start making seed oil, you're gonna drop it down into here. And every 100 millibuckets, aka two seeds, I get a rich biomass. This stuff, I can magma crucible into bio crude, and then I can fractionating still bio crude into gasoline. Also, actually, not yeah, you have to fractionating it first. because you can probably burn this as is, but it doesn't really look like it. All right, so let me just need two more machines, really. Hopefully, it should go fairly quickly here. Magma Crucible. That. I am missing another brick. 
Oh, please, dang it. Right. So, I don't have enough netherrack either, do I? So we do have that system up and running for now. Kinda. Uh, we're like two-thirds of the way there. Which means, you know, we're, we're getting there, right? Oh yeah, my magnet's in there too. Uh, are you charging right now? Uh, yeah. I think, yep, it is. So, like, I have five netherrack. And unfortunately it requires nether brick, which, yeah, I don't, I got none. Uh, yep, see, we're, we're pretty poor on that stuff because I actually sifted up all my netherrack. So I have to get that taken care of, but uh, episodes already run on long enough. I didn't expect to do it all in one cut, but here we are. So I'm going to go to the nether between episodes. I'm going to grab a bunch of netherrack because honestly, it's just a good thing to have anyways. And see the fractioning still. Uh, the reflex column. Conversion efficiency for fossil fuels. I don't think, yeah, that's only for the like the coal route. So, but I need I need nickel. I need constantin gears. Constantin is just copper and nickel. So, I will uh, get that cooked up as well. Thank you for coming out. I hope you're enjoying the series, and until next time, sign signing out. Have fun.